Welcome back to Loose Tube. Today you're going to learn how to use our M1 local lock swaging machine. This how-to video will demonstrate how to prepare and swage ball shank terminals. You should have already set up your local lock M1 swaging machine with the proper set of dies and the feed guide attached with the adapter removed. For swaging ball ends, you will need a high quality cable cutter, an attribute gauge, and your included instruction manual. Once your M1 is ready to swage, prepare the cable and fitting. Begin by cutting the cable cleanly and squarely to ensure that it will insert into the bore of the terminal. The fit will be snug, so it is essential that the cable wires don't spread or broom out. Place the ball at your desired location on the cable. If swaging single shank balls, keep in mind that the shank will face to the right when swaging, so ensure that you have oriented it properly. Insert the end of the fitting into the feed guide adapter and snap the cable into place. Grasp the pins on the lower die and turn counterclockwise to align the arcs labeled one on both the upper and lower dies. This is where you will begin to swage the ball. Place the tip of the ball at the beginning of the socket at the number one position. If swaging single shank ends, be sure that the shank is pointed to the right as shown. You may now make your first pass. Pump the handle slowly, paying attention that the fitting is properly aligned. Next, rotate the ball 90 degrees from the first position and align it with the beginning of the arc labeled 2. Make a second pass. For the third pass, rotate the fitting only 45 degrees. For the fourth pass, rotate another 90 degrees and swage. If there is a remaining flash, you may rotate 90 degrees once more and pass the ball through the number two position again, but it is not necessary. If you are swaging double shank ball ends, you will repeat this process exactly the same way, but in the other direction. Your ball end terminal is now ready to use. Check the after swage dimensions of the ball and the shank. They should pass easily through the grooves on the attribute gauge. If further reduction is necessary, Rotate the swaged fitting 90 degrees again and pass it through the number 4 position a second time. A properly installed local lock fitting will exceed the brake strength of the cable. Thank you for watching Loose Tube. Be sure to subscribe below for updated content and with any questions visit our website or contact our customer service department.